from Seattle. So WizKids, they produced this version of the Infernal Machine just for Vino and Grimms. That's right, an exclusive Vino and Grimms. I've never felt so old in my life. By the way, I gave blood today. That's how punk rock I am. supposed to tell people that. This is the longest unboxing in the history of man. All right, we'll go fast. This is our welcome letter. I think I wrote the first draft. This is Lulu. Lulu. Kaka! Give me a Lulu theme. Give me a Lulu theme. Kaka! Go! Go! The and it now sits on your table and you can hug it as you die. And hell! This is Beat on Grim. I don't know if you realize this. This is, what are you doing, Hill Giant? You can be seen. But being on Grimm, so we started playing together with the same group of guys since we were 21 years old and 50 years old. Damn near 50 years old. And so we've been playing all that time. And one of our first characters were Beetle and Grimm. Uh, I play Beetle, and he's a thief. I'm gonna open it, because you know why? I've actually never seen the character. But right now, on film, you're gonna see me witnessing my friend Beetle for the first time. Oh, sh Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's really good. He's got a tankard and a wand. He's got some issues. This is Grim. Grim is uh, a giant slayer. He's got two huge broad swords. He fights two-handed and kills giants. So there's Beetle and there's Grim, and they're both in the box. So we move on. These are encounter cards. It sits on the top of the DM screen. Uh, so you see the art, and on the back is a stat block. So as I go through, you'll see, because we're in hell, I'll just show you as we go. There's 40 
available to spit over everything down there. It's hard to be in a punk rock green on this section. So these are our wearables that we create for the Pinot Box. This is a Hellrider badge. This is a Baldur's Gate badge. And then this is a Flaming Fist badge. By the way, there's some spoilers in here. So you should know that. I'm going to show you the Infernal Contract, an item I've never seen in my life. that we create all the things that you would want in, a, in an adventure, we create them. So instead of you reading from your book, because most of you, let's face it, aren't great readers, we create the items that you can hand to your players. So these are in-world props. Give me an in-world prop section sound. Stand by! When you go to Candle Keep, which is a section of the book, um, you stumble across this comprehensive thesis of the nature of the infernal. We create uh, characters in case somebody dies because you're in hell, you automatically have a pre-gen character ready to roll. They're all super handsome on glossy paper that smells like the tears of heaven. And our products smell great and fresh. Now, our art, art that we curated and made, is now on the cover of our mini adventures. We have mini adventures. Adventures League. So we do uh, something with Adventures League. So we offer three Adventures League shirts in our box. The Infernal Machine. We have Infernal Machine character sheets. Infernal Machines for all my friends! Let's do a music break. Go! One of the things that people love is that we create chapter books for the, the overall adventure, the source the source book. So what we do is we go in and we break the big source book out in this individual pieces. So this is chapter one. Um, I won't go through them all. Chapter two. One of the great things, <laughs> I keep spinning everywhere. This is a lot. Doesn't it feel like a lot? It's a lot of stuff. This is our DM screen. One of the things we do is we create DM screens for every adventure we ever do. This is a DM screen. When you are in Baldur's Gate, you use this DM screen. Awesome. You know what happens? You go to hell in the adventure! You go to hell! This is our Beano and Grimm's map tube. This is different than just a plain tube. It's got a sticker on it that looks hellacious! Cause it's from hell! This includes all your maps. We made a lot more maps. So this is our Baldur's Gate. This is L12. It's so loud, Freiburger! Thank you. These battle maps are big and glorious and allows you to see combat from a, a very high level. I just want to take a break and say, we love this company. We put a lot of time and effort into it. Again, more battle maps, trying to make you happy. I'm gonna end with something that we created, especially for this. This is what we call the uh, terrain toolkit. You guys remember back in the 70s, you'd have like little shapes and you could put and pla place them on like the sticky board and you can make shapes and that was awesome. Well, we did that as well, but we did it with terrain and elements from hell. So if you look in here, all of these pieces come off super easily. Stand by, cut away from this part. So you, you can put this in the middle of your battle map and that affects the way the characters are gonna play. And then it sticks. It sticks, you guys. It's sticky. This, ladies and gentlemen, has been the Beetle Grimms on Box Hey! Oh, Father's Gate decided to abandon us! Go! Go! That's Freiburger! He's from Seattle, my name is Matthew Lowe, and thank you for joining us! Unfortunately, this whole box, though, is sold out. I'm sorry, there's no more boxes left. Mm -hmm.